Four years in prison. The move follows the death of a teenager in London last year. Alex Bushell has the story. From the hunter apocalypse to zombie slayer, the names are over the top and faintly ridiculous, but the blades are no less fatal. Last March, 18-year-old Stephen Appleton was killed with this weapon in a park in Islington. Until now, their sale, mostly over the internet and imported from the US, has been legal. Well, no more. We're banning the manufacture of them here, the importation of them, the retail of them, and the possession of them. So we're doing everything we possibly can to ensure that people can't buy them. The following message is transmitted at the request of Dr. Ron Paul. It's happening. I could have saved you. I tried to warn you. But you looked away. You asked for this. You've made your bed. Why didn't you listen? You cannot stop it, it hasn't even begun. It's too late. I told you so, why did you believe them? I could have saved you. I tried to warn you. You looked away. You asked for this. You've made your bed. Now lie in it. But don't call it a grave. It's the future you chose. We're trapped in the belly of this horrible machine. And the machine is bleeding to death. It didn't have to end like this. It's happening. It didn't have to be like this. It's happening. You could have prevented this. It's happening. You only had to listen. It's happening. It's happening. It's over. We're trapped in the belly of this horrible machine. And the machine is bleeding to death. death, death. But you only had to listen. Well, good uh, good morning to everybody, or good evening to all the ass mad Euro cucks that are in the chat today. I uh, I hope you save some salt for the rest of the stream. I saw a few of you uh, seemed a little bit upset. Might want to keep an eye on chat. Uh, if you see a European in there, be sure to point and laugh at them because it drives them up a wall. Well, what a day it's been. Lots of lots of new things going on on the internet. Uh, let's see what what ended up happening. Oh, that's right. Europe tried to ruin the internet for everybody. So same old, same old. Europeans being absolute fucking trash and ruining things for everybody else on the face of the earth. But we'll get in that. Uh, we'll get into that in a second here. How's how's your morning going, chat? I'm talking to the real people, the Americans, uh, in the audience, not the Europeans. I don't even know. Can you type right now? Are you allowed to say things on YouTube? Won't you get arrested for that? I saw a lot of those uh, 56% memes 
Uh, hot bants coming from the chat. You know, those are copyrighted now. You're going to have to pay a tax on that. Sorry, it's not for you anymore. You're, you're going to have to go back to bulletin boards if you have permission to use those now. Oh, it's going to be a fun day today. There's nothing like pissing off Europeans. They get so mad. They get so fucking angry. I put a video up I, like two months ago talking about Article 13. And uh, they were just fucking shitter shattered about it. And what do you know? Fast forward two months and after listening to them say it's never going to happen. Uh, a Merrimut, a Merrimut 56 percenter. It's never going to happen. Not in Europa. Not in the last bastion of uh, Europeans. Uh, yeah, no, uh, it happened. It happened. And people were wearing suits, too. It did nothing to stop it. But uh, let me let me address some of these super chats real quick. Because, uh, yeah, I'm going to get paid to laugh at your fucking asses this morning. And then uh, we'll jump into it. We'll jump into uh, some European salt, because that's always fun. The retard, <laughs> the retard Gestapo. Shout out to Blake, Japer Wolf, and Dylan. Lord Purr, hey, do you like feet? Do you also like knowing the day of the year it is? Well, have I got a product for you. Do you? Do you, Mr. Tiller? Dustin D. Hayes, dealing with rape in Europe. The British solution, ban the act of procreation. Nice. If someone gets killed with a shovel, will they ban those as well? Well, as we all know, anybody, any instrument in Europe is now pretty much confiscated. They don't like to address the source of the problem. They just like to uh, address the implement used by the source of the problem. Somebody gets hit with a van, let's ban vans. Somebody gets stabbed with a knife, let's ban knives. Uh, <laughs> fucking mopeds, cars, trucks. Just anything they can do not to address the issue. From bio, take my shekels and let me in. Well, if you're if you're not a... Oh, you, well, that's, that's a, that looks like funny money. Is that European money? I don't know if you can legally be here. But don't worry, I won't report you just yet. Deep fried lettuce, real Australian hours, who's up? Yeah, the Australians must love this. You finally get the uh, title of shitposting back. Oh, 4chan's going to be great. I don't have to listen to homosexual tea drinkers anymore. I can just listen to some Australian bants and threads once again. Musical Lumberjack, if suicide is the fastest way to speedrun life, would an abortion be considered a tool-assisted run? I do believe that is uh, accurate, yes. Russell T. Shackelford, watch Hard Bastard News stream, soon to be banned in the EU. Well, a lot of shit's going to be banned in the EU pretty fucking quickly here pretty pretty fucking quickly here i'll get back to these super chats in a bit let's jump into it i'm sure you're all uh, maybe some of you aren't aware of what's going on so let me let me back up a couple of days let me back up a few days here now i don't know if you're aware of this but there was a a, a great battle for freedom that took place in uh, europe two days ago it was led by a a very brave applebee's waiter um, but apparently the EU just wasn't interested, wasn't interested in his recommendation of appetizers. So uh, that didn't really go over that well. Go to make a grand speech about saving the internet. Two days later, the internet's destroyed. I, I don't know how that happened. Uh, he was literally doing pan-European politics, and he was wearing a suit. So <laughs> you would think, you would think that would be the solution, but apparently not. I guess they'll, they'll take a recommendation on the frittatas, but not on freedom. But thank you. Thank you, uh, based Applebee's Waitron, for uh, trying to save the day on that one. Uh, I've got a few news articles. We can, we can read those. Maybe that'll give you the better idea of, <laughs> of how fucked Europe is. And we can get into talking about why it's trash and why Europeans need to shut up. <laughs> they need to shut the fuck up and sit the fuck down. Let me, let me just pull up this. And get it up on screen for everybody to read. Oh, I've got pictures of the people that voted for this. Wait till you see what they look like. Can you take a guess? Can you guess what they look like? All right. Uh, let's see. That should do it. I'll move that a little bit. There we go. Okay, I think that should be good. The EU approves controversial copyright directive, including internet link tax and upload filter. Those in favor say they're fighting for content creators, but critics say the new laws would be catastrophic. Well, if you know if anybody's saying that it's going to be a fucking catastrophe, 
Europeans are going to want to do it. The European Parliament has voted in favor of the Copyright Directive. You always know a law is on a good track when it's called the Directive. A Copyright Directive. A controversial piece of legislation intended to update online copyright laws in the Internet age. The directive was originally rejected by MEPs in July following criticism by two key provisions. Article 11 and 13 dubbed the link tax and the upload filter. Now, I will spare you a little bit of this. Uh, so essentially what this is, the link tax would be if you use a news source or a source of information, uh, you would you basically have to pay a toll. You, you would have to pay a licensing fee for doing that the link tax you're linking to their information the upload filter is even better uh, the upload filter takes the onus off of the individual putting up content and puts it onto the host service provider so everything becomes like YouTube with uh, copyright content filters all over the place if somebody copyrights a meme if somebody copyrights anything it doesn't even matter trademarks or whatever and you put it up anywhere on the internet if you're a European, uh, you're fucked. It's going to get copyright struck. It's your shitty little blog spot, copyright struck. It's your dumb little deviant art profile, copyright struck. It's not just going to be YouTube anymore. It's going to be everything. And these dumb fucks voted for it. A final vote in favor of it, 438 to 226. <laughs> Nicely done, Europeans. Oh, God, every time I don't think you dumb sons of bitches can cuck yourself a little bit more. You just jump right into it, full fucking throttle right into it. It's almost like a dare. It's like a dare to them if you tell them you can't possibly be that fucking stupid. They take that as a challenge and have to prove you wrong. The most important parts, okay, I think this is, yeah, they're talking about the link tax, about Article 13. Criti or critics of the Copyright Directive say these provisions are disastrous, no shit. In the case of the Article 11, they note the attempts to tax platforms like Google News for sharing articles have repeatedly failed and the system would be ripe for copyright abuse by copyright trolls yeah if you're familiar with copyright trolls I, I can't even imagine how f much of a clusterfuck this is going to be I mean yeah there are going to be funny instances where you could probably take down half the internet with bullshit copyright claims you know uh, <laughs> like let's say Negro Joe the flag god decided he wanted to take down the internet he, he probably pretty much could if he just said he copyrighted everything. Article 13, they say, is even worse. The legislation requires the platforms proactively work with rights holders to stop users from uploading copyrighted content. Now, that's the interesting bet. How are they going to work with them? I mean, this has been the, the vague details that they don't want to go over, they don't want to talk about. How, how are they, are they going to use an algorithm? Are people going to be working at this? How is that going to be enforced? You look at a company like Google, they use uh, bots to do it. They have a YouTube police force of a thousand people working to help do it. So who who's going to enforce that? How is that going to be enforced? And what time frame is that going to be enforced in? Now, I've got an answer. Oh, there we go. I have an answer for you when it comes to the time frame. Uh, you're going to love this. This is an article from the BBC. And no, I don't have to pay a link tax because I live in freedom land where I don't get fucked in the ass because I'm too much of a cuck to stand up to the oligarchs. I'm looking at you, Europe. But uh, let, let's take a look. What's the time frame? How long until after you post your shitty little 56% meme are you going to have before the uh, police come knocking at your door? Google, Facebook, Twitter uh, face EU fines over extremist posts. This is how it's going to start. L listen to this. This is from today. This is like three or four hours ago. In his annual State of the Union address to the European Parliament, John Claude Juncker said an hour would be a decisive time window. One hour. One hour after you post your little joke. One hour after you put up your meme. One hour after your tweet or your Facebook post or your YouTube video. That's how long the European Union believes that you should have before shit needs to get pulled down. Before the big boy fines come out. Oh, what have you done, Europe? What are you doing? How are you this cucked? You had to have known this was a bad idea. It's Is it apathy or laziness? I don't know. I listen to... Uh, if you look in the chat right now, I bet there are a bunch of pissed off Europeans. 
oh, America, America, 56% meme and all that other shit. Look at you, champ. What are you even doing over there? Do you have any place to talk shit about America or even Canada? Can the, can the Europeans talk shit about Canadians anymore? I mean, Canadians were kind of the ass end of every joke on the internet for like the last two years, but I think you've one up them. I think, I don't even think you, can you make a poo in the loo joke and talk about designated shitting streets anymore? I mean, you've really, you've really reached for the bar. You've gone for the gold. You grabbed the ring and you're swinging from it. Oh, if, okay. If authorities flag content that incites or advocates extremism, the content must be removed from the web, not from a website, from the fucking internet itself. Within an hour. Within an hour. Just remove it completely. Just gone. It's gone. And what, what is extremism? Well, if you remember, there was an article from about a year and a half ago where a German paper was talking about uh, Merkel and a police action that was happening in Germany where they were arresting people and a direct quote from the article was for illegal right-wing opinions. Illegal opinions they were being arrested for. That was considered too extremist. A man was arrested in Scotland for revving his car engine in a racist manner. People have been arrested in Britain for tweets. I don't even want to talk about what's going on in Sweden. So to have that in your mind, you know, have that picture centered, nice and crisp and clear when we're talking about what they're going to convince you is, uh, you know, extremism that needs to be taken down. Oh, and here we go. A spokesperson for YouTube added that the site shared the European Commission's desire to react rapidly to terrorist content and keep violent extremism off our platforms. Well, both Google and Facebook uh, and even Jack Dorsey at Twitter to some degree have uh, been being pestered, I'd say, for about the last three years, especially from Germany, especially from Merkel's camp, but the EU as a whole. See, not only do you Europeans want to fuck up your own good time, you have to drag your filthy, stupid asses across the ocean and shit up our good time. You got to ruin it for everybody else. I've seen some of the uh, counterclaims to this Article 13 and 11 saying it's going to affect everybody, not just Europe. It's going to affect everybody. Is that a claim you want to make? Do you want to go around telling people not only did you fuck yourself up, but you fucked the whole world up? You think that's going to make anybody sympathetic to your plight? It's going to make you more hated. They'd be like, I don't even know who the fuck you are and you ruin things for me. <laughs> End yourself. The scale of the problem they're looking at and what they want to be done. Yeah, it, it talks about Google. I'm sorry, I said it was 1,000 YouTube police officers. No, it's 10,000. 10,000 that are dedicated to this, uh, to this endeavor to, to deal with this. Oh, my God. All right. Pull that down for a second. I'll put that, you know, I'm going to put this up while I read some of the super chats, and then we'll move on a little bit here. Where is it? There we go. That about sums it up. <laughs> I see chats scrolling by a thousand miles an hour. How many angry Europeans are in there? Uh, usually I just offload my streams onto another channel after I'm done. Uh, if you happen to be watching this and you want to you wanna do me a solid, just screen record the chat for me so that can be included because I don't want to miss a minute of the salt. Oh, they're smug, shitty little attitudes. Oh, you Americans. Oh, you're Donald Trump. You're run by the Jews. Oh, America can't do anything. You're not like us. And look at you. you. You completely have fucking destroyed yourselves. What are you doing? Oh, I never have to listen to European shit talk ever again. You've fucked up on a colossal level that can't be can't be outdone by anybody. All right, let's let's read some of these. Digi D dude NG, genius Kojimbo tried to warn us with Minucker Solid too, but we didn't listen. Now the European patriots control the memes. You know uh, that that plot line from that game was pretty goddamn dead on. Jason Weaver, Christ fags, pray for my dad stuck on North Carolina coast. Yeah, you guys have a hell of a hurricane barreling down on you. Isn't it like a Cat 4 right now? I know they said it was going to pick up wind speeds to like 150 or 170 by today or by late afternoon, so that is not going to be pleasant. 
Hank Wibbleton, be European, breathe racistly, get arrested. Oh, be European, get arrested. Should do yeah, that should be the condensed version. Can you do anything in Europe anymore without getting arrested? You need a fucking license to take a dump. You need to go get permission to jack off. You, if you're European, especially if you're British, you need to go to the newsstand to buy a piece of paper so you can go back home and look at pornography and masturbate. So it's just be European, get fucked is the is the short condensed version. Matthew Smith, should 4chan ban the EU to avoid articles 11 and 13? That is a good recommendation. That might be the way forward. Jason Weaver, great day to be American, huh, Jim? It's always a fucking great day to be American. Especially when I can I can post memes. I can shit talk. I don't have to have a license fee ready. Oh, did you tell a joke that too many people laughed at? That's going to be 58 cents. Oh, did you link to a funny picture? Pay the tax, goy. Oh, no, I'm good over here. Oh, sir, I finally don't feel so embarrassed to be Canadian. Thanks, Europe. That's right. I hope all the Canadians come crawling out under their rocks. All the fucking leaf jokes. Remember the day of the rake jokes? Oh, Trudeau's such a cuck. You remember all the maple syrup shit talking that's been going on for two years? It's your day to fucking dance on their graves. Every fucking Canadian should be dancing on their graves right now. You're no longer at the bottom of the fucking list. Sloop Litzman, I just filed a copyright claim for the 56% meme with the U.S. Copyright Office. That is beautiful. Now they'll have to pay you to use it. Or they'll get thrown in British prison. Hustada, this is what happens when you have people who know virtually nothing about the internet making laws regarding the internet. <clears throat> it's funny you mention that. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at... Um, you know what? I'll just put it up. I'll put it up while I read these. Uh, where is it? I should say I can't confirm 100%, but I've seen enough people post a picture that uh, this was the group of people celebrating uh, the vote. There you go. <laughs> they're, 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 they look very internet savvy, to, I, I think, don't you? Hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, everybody, you're all fucked. High fives, high fives all around. <laughs> oh, look at the smiles. Oh, they're so happy. They're so happy. Uh, Brent Herman, they wonder why we Americans called them trash. Sarkeesian was right. They are human or garbage humans. Arsh. Dragonzord69, Soy Father will be the savior of Europa. A hero we deserve, but don't need. Nervous chuckle. Carnizzle. GG, at least I can use the internet without worrying about Eurobores. That's the feeling everybody should be having right now. Chikai, it is necessary that I should die for my people, but my spirit will rise from the grave, and the world will know that I was right. Sargon of Applebee's. It's a quote that gets me in my heart. I, I see you You picked his favorite number, 1488, for the donation amount. Thank you very much, Jakai. Bradley Kuntz, get in, loser. We're going to save Europe again. Mr. Inside, great stuff. I also loved you in that d show Dirty Jobs. Well, I'm glad you liked it. Dirty Jobs is a fantastic television program. Prond, Jimmy Jazz, Najai, uh, can you say hi to Austin and try to say my name? Najai? I'm going to guess. I don't know. I can't even say... I can't even say hyperbole properly. I say it like hyperbole, like it's a futuristic fucking sport. Good luck on your name. Waffenbear117 from Jefferson Steelflex and Elvin Yakatori. Hopefully I said that right. Barnabas Born, turn against Christ, pay the price, enjoy Sharia. Pizzy Wizzy506, laughing my ass off at Sneaky Snake 0420 right now. The EU is dead. USA number one. Well, ES, yeah, USA number one. You know, let me put that picture back up. I think, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's get that back up. Just so they know their fucking place, right, chat? They should know. They should know their fucking place. Look at that. Do you see that, Europe? Those are, those, this picture, this entire picture is something you can't ever do. He's holding a gun. He's proudly waving a flag. <laughs> And it's in picture form that he was able to post on the internet. Three things you'll never be able to do again. Does that chap your ass a little bit? I, I, I would hope so. How did that happen? Carl of Bennigan's was supposed to be the chosen one to save the West from Plastic Castle. Deplorableology. It's good that the kid killed with a butter knife in the news report at the beginning of the stream was black. Oof, hurtful words. Hurtful words. They're going to send uh, Interpol out to get you now. Brown Town, press S to spit on Europe. Your ancestors left for a good reason. Archon Blade, the Soy Father, is on suicide watch. 
Zyklon, heroes need to start dropping bodies. Plantation sensation. You could have been our leader, but you forgot your suit. I am suitless. It is a sad fact of life. I am I am fucking where is the suit one? Where where is the there's a is it right here? There we go. I, I just I did not have I did not have my suit on. <laughs> what am I doing? How how am I going to uh how am I going to save America without my precious suit on? I won't look like an Applebee's waiter. Uh, crazy Nizzle, thank you. Uh, John R. Burningstone, living in Switzerland. Fuck the U.S., fuck the EU, let it all burn. Thanks for the laughs, though. Oh. Yeah, they are not, uh, they are not going to be happy about that, Switzerland. Blade McKenzie, Jim, could you please stop corrupting the youth? Uh, never. Never, I'm not going to stop that. Lin Wu, my, my, I'm glad the Medicare stream is the second largest on YouTube right now. Second only to Peppa the Pig 24-hour live stream. A pork chop is defeating me. Oh, my ego has been crushed. 14 of Woos, breaking news. Finland is now the 51st state of the USA. Welcome to the glorious land of America, where we'll let you shit post and uh, look at anime titties without shaming you or making you go to a newsstand to get a license to do so. D.A. Crowley, sending shekels before the hurricane takes my glow-in-the-dark ass. Love the content, and thanks for making my day enjoyable. Oh, thank you very much. From innocuous remark, Jim, uh, you probably could have done that one for a dollar, but uh, you've got my attention. Thank you. JD123AB, take my money, you glorious shit. The Guardian, sup, Jim, I heard fake Ross is being hunted by police for threatening people with a gun on Twitter. You going to cover his trial? Uh, that's all going to be on the Sunday stream. I know a lot of people want to talk about shit rats and Monday Matt and uh, fake Ross and all that stuff. Sunday. This is just shitting on Europe. And I'm going to take a break from the Super Chats. I want to, I want to, chat, you tell me what's going on. What, what are your thoughts on this? We've got 12,000 people watching. Why don't you tell the Europeans what you think? Um, uh, okay, let, let's try this. Uh, press S to spit on Europe, chat. Let's see if they, if you're willing to go with that. Press S to spit on Europe. I'll give you a second to catch up. There's a tiny bit of a delay. I need, like, some waiting room music that I can play when that shit's happening. I need to get some sound clips lined up. I need to be professional about this, or I'm never going to beat that pig live stream. What am I doing? Oh, you know, I swear I had... Because <laughs> I'm looking at the oh, fucking Applebee's shit again. I could have sworn I had something set up, did I? Was this it? This might be it. This might be it. I am a division manager. That is very important. Do not raise your Very important. You don't talk to me like that. People are scared of me. I drive a Dodge Stratus. I am an assistant manager at Applebee's. You will respect me. <laughs> oh, God. Who says shit like that? Oh. Look at him. Look at those smiling faces. How does it feel to get fucked by that? How does it feel to get bent over and fucked in your ass by that? Just imagine looking over your shoulder as your freedom is stripped from you, and he's licking his lips and giving you the thumbs up. I mean, the the EU was such a great idea, right? I mean, you guys were so you were so sure of it. Like, look at this. Look at your votes. Oh, can you? Can we even call them votes, really? With the European Union, can you even really call it votes? Made to vote again. Oh, you went along with us. Accepted. Oh, you went against us? Made to vote again. Oh, accepted? Good to go. Oh, you don't like what we're doing? Ignored. Ignored. Made to vote again. Ignored. God damn. What the fuck are you guys doing? Oh, yeah, is there... You know, actually, I wonder if there's a way that I can show chat on the stream. So, so people can enjoy uh, Europeans getting shit on. Let me see if I can pull that up. I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to do it live. See if we can make it work. Uh, where would I go for this? No, that's not going to work. 
Ah, well, fuck it. Fuck it, I, I will try again. A lot of shut down the EUs in chat. Seeing a lot of that. God, I mean, when you look at the last five years, when it really comes to <sighs> Britain, France, Sweden, um, Germany, especially, fuck, especially Germany, but just the, we'll just say the EU as a whole. It, has any of their decisions not been a complete disastrous clusterfuck? And I know a lot of people point to Brexit and say, look, Brexit's going to happen. Well, you've been dragging your fucking feet on that for like two years now. And it's probably going to be a soft Brexit, so it'll be EU and name only, right? And so you're going to have to adhere to their bullshit. I mean, you may get away from them. That's set in, what, May of 2019, I think? But e even with that, <laughs> you're probably going to be paying a link tax, and you're probably going to be under Articles 11 and 13. Lots of gas the EUs. Seen a few people posting without their meme licenses. I'm telling you, Interpol is going to come after you. And Mom Merkel's not going to take kindly to that. I don't know what you think you're doing. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, let me put this, put this back up. Where is it? There we go. Yeah, that's about right. I think that's about right. Just, you know, it, it does feel nice in a way. Because America does get a lot of shit. You know, uh, being told we interfere with too many politics, we we insert ourselves where we don't belong, and now we're not really doing that. And look at what you've done. America turns its attention away for like five minutes, and you manage to ruin the internet. We stop paying attention to you. It's like being a babysitter, and you go to talk on your cell phone, and then the dumb little fucker that you're babysitting somehow gets his hand stuck in a toaster. That's Europe and America. America's the babysitter. And the dumb asshole that's toasting his hand, that's Europe. And that toaster, I guess, would be, if we want to keep going with the analogy, would be the internet on fire. Brilliantly done. Fucking <laughs> well done. And I, I believe the Article 2 said that it, it's going to be the effective date or the very finalized vote is like December or January. So you've got uh, three months, four months tops of free internet before you are completely and utterly fucked when it comes to how you interact with people online. And you let that happen. You let that happen. You let these technocrats and these oligarchs and these disconnected bureaucrats that aren't even really voted into power by you, you let this, this structure, this foundation take root and make decisions for you. And you're getting fucked in your ass now because you wanted to be hands off about it. Why would you let them have overruling say on your laws and your sovereignty? Why did you put yourself in this position? Oh, God. Oh, I see an America is gay in the chat. Fair enough. Fair enough. We may be very gay, but at least we can, you know, use the internet and enjoy ourselves. You're going to have to... I don't know. What are you going to do? What are you going to fill your days up with, Europe? You're going to read the fucking newspaper? You're going to watch Channel 4? <laughs> You're completely fucked. How many people complain online about how terrible television is? About how biased its news sources are? And how shit the fucking programming is? That's what you're stuck with forever and ever and ever. You're going to be stuck watching shitty BBC television for the rest of your life and you'll never be able to go online and enjoy the good shit the free shit the fun shit that we're enjoying over here that the Australians are enjoying that the Canadians are enjoying even the Chinese will have more freedom than you will when it comes to what they do online how did you outdo the Chinese when it comes to self-censorship <laughs> why did you make that a competition why did you decide that was the foot race you wanted to get involved in All right, let me, I'm going to read a few more of these that I missed here. Uh, from Biscuit Mojo, Eurotrash, Jacob Freer, uh, imagine being uh, imagine being a obese Amerimut or Europore. Love being Australian and not paying 7% on my student debt. Ruben, what's next for the ban list? Mugs, rocks, gold. Oh, wait, they, parenthesis, 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 would never ban the gold. 
The Shimada brothers' tax are too sharp, they can't even use bullion boards. And we've got a message deleted, so I'll never know what it said. Maybe somebody got them. It's actually, <laughs> it's Euros. And the message has been deleted. I think Merkel got them. Alui, or Eli, finally I can make money making memes. Oh yeah, the meme market's going to be off the fucking hook, isn't it? It's going to be a lot of uh, potential for profitability there. You're going to have to come out with like um, subtle memes, sub sub memes, something that can be transmitted where people don't know what it is. That's like a level lower than memes. You're going to have to do like ninth dimensional backgammon with that shit to be able to sell it. It's going to be like an illegal substance. When you talk about illegality in like America or Australia or Canada, you're talking about like fucking cocaine and heroin and shit. When you're talking about illegality in fucking Britain or France or Sweden, you're talking about image macros. Fucking cats playing the piano will get you a prison sentence in Bongland now. Oh, the shame of it. Psyche Trout, thanks for the stream, Jim. Got two hours left at work and have to go sit at the DMV for a few hours. Still rather do all that than be European, though. I believe I believe most people would agree. Jessica used this mopeds of peace, unless you're living in uh, London. And then there are no mopeds at all. Cream, are they going to ruin my already shitty internet, Jimbo? Enjoy the Ozbucks. Yes, they are going to fuck your internet into the dirt if they have their say. Exile 13, first stream I caught. Here's a few shekels and a hearty thank you from me. The retard Gestapo forgot to mention Caesar the Taco Tranny Supreme. DJ Tacoma, why isn't Europe tired of being told what they have to do and when to do it? You know, that's actually a really good question. Um, maybe European men are just naturally submissive. Maybe they're like bottoms. I don't know. Are European men the bottoms of the world? Do they like to be dominated? Is like Imam Merkel, is Mama Merkel like a sex thing for them? Like they need to be told, like it's time. It's, it's time to go buy your license now. It's time to, it's penis inspection day every day in merry old bong land. Dat boy MD, play stupid games, win stupid laws. Uh, well said. Pineapple on pizza. One like equals one bald eagle flying free. Space Shank, USA, USA, USA. Jorge Blanco, just throwing it out there. Elusive man, now I have to flood the web with my shitty OC drawn memes. Yeah, everybody's going to. I mean, I, I think that is one of the implications most people aren't really latching on to. Is that if you're a European and these laws are cemented come three months from now. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to, if you want to post something... If you see if you see an image you like, you're going to have to recreate it in your own way that's completely original and derivative enough or not derivative, but um, different enough that uh, it, it, it doesn't violate the copyright. Like even that picture, let me pull it up. Even this picture, where's my <laughs> where's my little American guy? There we go. Well yeah, three months from now if this shit goes through, a European couldn't post that. He would have to go recreate this picture, which we know is physically impossible because his little soy arms couldn't lift up a shotgun, let alone there are no laws that would allow him to have one anyway. And holding the flag up that high probably is a violation of something else. But the point being, you'd have to recreate it. You couldn't just post that image. You'd have to recreate it shot for shot yourself. So OC shit's going to be real popular. The white boar, you can't burn our kingdom if it's made of fire. Uh, that is a uh, that is a strategy that may be, be uh, getting employed right now. Uh, Bow Wow, why do SGWs think you're scared of H-Bomber guy? Uh, I think you're talking about fake Ross, and if, I, if, uh, if I'm right, right now he's probably trying to hide in a Filipino basement, uh, waiting for a fucking uh, <laughs> a kill team to find him that's been sent by Trump. Now, for those that are unaware, fake Ross is the guy that made the death threats for the event yesterday, the um, uh, Make America Great event. I, I don't know where it was. I don't know the exact details, but he basically said he was going to kill a bunch of people and posted uh, a picture of a handgun and then kind of caught fire in the press. And so now he's probably in hiding. I, I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do, but it'll be it'll be funny to watch the outcome. Welcome to die. Oh, evade Jim. The EU is whiter than you. Ah, uh, are they though? I mean, is the EU even the EU at this point? Like, people have always asked me, hey, would you like to go to Paris? And I tell them, well, if I wanted to go to the Middle East, I'd go to Iraq. 
Like, <laughs> with the amount of immigration from the Middle East and North Africa going on in a majority of Europe, is it really that white anymore? I don't know. Russell T. Shackelford, VAT tax, ha, huh, get ready to spread for cuck tax. Dude Guy McPants, I've only reported one video, and it was one of yours, you goofy cunt. Well, thank you very much. Jorg Mundo 07, damn it, Jim, you're causing so much salt, the ocean is rising, salinity, and making climate change worse, stop destroying Gaia, shitlord. Yeah, I should pull up normal chat so I can, I can see the ass mat of the Europeans in there. <laughs> Yeah, no, he made threats on 9-11. Yeah, uh, Fake Ross, uh, somebody in chat was bringing that up, made uh, death threats. Uh, he, he, I'm sure he thought he was just going to throw it out there as a troll and nobody was going to call him on it. And uh, he picked the worst person to do it to and it caught complete attention of everybody. And now, yeah, he's probably got teams hunting him down. So best of luck, buddy. <laughs> Enjoy big boy prison. Uh, Fedorable Fedora, hello, I'd like to copyright the, uh, to be, or I'd like to copyright the Be American Get Shot meme. Oh, yeah, I'm telling you right now, if you really want to piss off Europeans, I guarantee you they're too stupid and lazy to fight this, so it's probably going to go through in three months. So if you really want to piss off Europeans, find the favorite things they like to use to shit talk you and copyright them. You'll ruin their fucking lives. They'll have to pay you. Imagine being that much of a soy boy cuck that you have to pay the person you're making fun of for permission to use the thing you want to use to make fun of them for. That's the, that's the greatest thing I've ever heard of. Copyright all of it. Oh, all, their, all their shit. Just copyright it and make them pay the link tax. Kate Irona, play the song There Is No, <laughs> there is no Cock Like Horse Cock. To give Matt some extra or extra spicy love. Well, uh, you know, I, I think Matt is out boulder collecting right now, so I don't think he's going to enjoy that song. He's got a busy day ahead of him. Excelsior, can America invade us already? No, uh, I don't think we're going to do shit for you. Why should we? Why should any other country on Earth right now come and help you? I'm talking to any European country, really, that's under the auspices of the EU. You assholes dug your own grave. Why should it be the responsibility of anybody else to save you if you're so weak you can't save yourself? You know, man up. Nut up a little bit. You know, build up some muscles and start doing the heavy lifting. Stop looking to Uncle Sam and Uncle Ozzy and Uncle Leaf to come save your ass because you did another retarded thing. Because it's like a series of retarded things. Claus Claver, oi, you got a license for that, mate. Walkie boy, send in more of those heckle shekels, mad Euro fucks. God bless America, still 56% better than any other country that has ever existed. Yeah, you know, there were quite a few pissed off uh, Europeans. Uh, the stream was set up about three hours ago, and uh, quite a few downvotes and unsubs. Every time I make fun of Europe, I notice I get a lot of unsubscriptions. I've made fun of people, I, I've made fun of diaper furs. I've made, God, I've made fun of every group you can imagine. But for some reason, when you start shitting on Europeans, they can't fucking handle it. They absolutely flip their shit. No, they're like one of the angriest groups I've ever made fun of. So I, I feel compelled to keep doing it. Why would, you, why would you walk away from that? It's such a great source of amusement. And especially because they're not going to be able to fight back much longer. Oh, you could put up all the videos you want, all the shit posts you want in three months. And they have to fucking grin and bear it because they won't legally be allowed to respond. Implying I'm giving my name a woo, will you RP with me, colon three. Uh, no, I'm not going to teleport behind you, I'm sorry. All right, I think we're, I think we're caught up for now. Pull this back up. We have 13,000 people watching. Have we beat that fucking pig yet? Somebody told me there was a number one stream was a pig. A 24-hour pig stream. What kind of numbers are they pulling? I'm just... <laughs> I'm curious. Oh, it's an Apple keynote. Was that a joke then when you said it was a pig? It was actually Apple doing a keynote speech right now? Nothing personal, Europe. Ugh. I, 
I, I don't know. I, I don't know what they're going to do. Yeah, I get a lot of shit because people say, oh, you don't care enough. You need to be more political. You need to be more active. How do you save people this stupid? That's an honest question for you, chat. When you look at how dumb Europeans are, how the fuck do you save them? How, you know, like, there's a point where you just got to stop. You can only take the kid's hand away from the stovetop like a hundred times before you're like, you know what? Fuck it. Put your hand up there, Billy. See what fucking happens. I keep telling you, you stick your fa fucking hand on the stove, it's going to hurt like a motherfucker and you're going to regret it. But he just keeps wanting to do it. So eventually you reach a point where you're like, I don't, I just do it. Do it and learn the fucking hard way. This is Europe learning the hard way that what they've implemented is disastrous. That they've they have completely fucking cucked themselves. They've knelt down for no reason to authorities that don't have a right to be authoritative. And they just, they have to learn the hard way. You've, they're going to have to really learn the hard way. But if you fuck the internet up for the rest of us, oh, there's going to be no mercy. You're never going to live it down. Do you think any other country on earth is going to give a shit about you if you fuck it up for everybody? Does this one little sector of the world ruins it for the rest of the internet? Oh, get fucked. Yes, that's right, chat. Uh, that's right, chat. Bin that banter. You need to bin that banter right away. It's not. That's not legally allowable. What are you doing? Uh, from Sean Turner, Jim, I heard your acorn story, you mongloid. You should have said you gone to an indoor pool. Just had a towel and wet your hair when you get high. Well, I was a teenager, and that was the first time I'd ever smoked pot, and I didn't really think ahead of time to come up with a convincing cover story to why my eyes were red. And for some reason, at the moment, acorn fight seemed to really fit the bill. Live and, live and learn. See what I mean? You gotta learn the hard way sometimes. Sometimes you got to look at the kid who said, I'm going to come up with an acorn story and be like, you know what, you stupid fuck? Go, go ahead. You go do that. See how that works out for you. Tell people you got hit in the eyes with two acorns. See, see if that works out well for you in the end. If you're that fucking stupid, you maybe deserve the reaction you're going to get. Deeps 87. I was born European and I usually get uh, go back every year to see my relatives. No more. Not going anywhere near that dumpster fire. Bagel Goose. Wait, there's a pig stream. Fuck this. See you losers. I was informed there was a pig stream. Maybe they meant Apple. I don't, I don't know. I don't keep up with Apple. I don't know. It's an iPig, I guess, is their new fucking product this year. The Iron Bill. All the alphas in Europe were killed in the 1940s when they stood against the boys in suits. Is this European soyum uh, they told us about? Lol, Europe. Kill the goyim. Install the kami soyum. Directive. I, I don't know what happened. I, I really don't. It, it just feels like a lot of people have kind of lost their fucking minds. It, it's, I think the way this sort of thing happens when you're looking at like the EU and the crazy shit that's going on is it's done incrementally. It's done very, very slowly and bit by bit and kind of disconnected pieces so that you don't really get the big picture of it until it's so colossal, until what you're up against has fucked you so hard that it almost feels insurmountable to fight back against. But, you know, if for the last couple of years, for, fuck, for the last half a decade, people have been saying, look what's going on, look what's going on. Again, telling the kid, don't put your hand up on the stove, don't put your hand up on the stove. There's only so much you can do. Valdis Tigril, Sargon doomed us. The suit wasn't, or the suit was substandard. Yeah, he should have, you know, I looked at the picture uh, between him and Dankula. And, you know, Dankula's suit looked tailored. It looked like it was it was tailored, you know, I had the, the sleeves hemmed, uh, you know, everything was nice, it's crisp, it's it, the right proportions and stuff, it looked pretty good. And you look at Sargon, it's all frumpy. It's all frumpy like he got it from a men's warehouse at like 2 in the morning uh, because he's freaking out and he forgot to buy it weeks ahead of time. I, I don't know what the fuck the story was with that. That Cooper fellow didn't see the show, uh, didn't see this before the show, but uh, ready, ready yourselves for the Soyth Reich or Islamic State of Europe and the Levant. Uh, well, you know, I'd like to call it the European Caliphate is kind of where it feels like it's going. But who knows? I mean, which direction will the cucking of Europe go? It's really up to the Europeans, isn't it? Who's going to fuck them the hardest 
We'll just have to tune in to find out. Cole Marshall, you are number t- or you are trending number two for me. Well, awesome. Thirteen thousand or thirteen and a half thousand people having a laugh at Europeans. See, that's what freedom looks like. We can get thirteen and a half thousand people to sit here and laugh at you, but you're not going to be able to respond much longer. Could a European do a stream like this? Would they get arrested? I think. I don't know. William Allen, will you help me solve a bet? Is your name a play on words, Mr. Mediocre? Did you see one or did you see someone shot at Dr. Disrespect's house while streaming? Uh yeah, I saw the story yesterday that he his house got shot at like twice, I think. Um a, as far as the name Medicare, yeah, that's the joke. Uh, I was some foreigner, some European was trying to say mediocre, but they spelled it Medicare. So that's where that comes from. Anderson Paladin, I'm sorry the suicide hotline is experiencing heavy traffic. Please call again later. David Superner, hey, Kike, you didn't read my last super chat. Well, I am working my way down, so I'll probably get to it. Travis Perry, remember, Jim, free speech means the Nazis win. Matthew Smith, can text get stuck like image macros? Like, could they get screwed for using copyrighted pastas or lyrics? Yes, they could. If it's a copyrighted work that's identifiable enough, I think you could get hit in one of two ways. If they could say that for some reason it's an information source or a news source, and this is a, you know one of the problems with Article 11, I think, the link tax. If you want to talk about an article, a news story, like a CNN story, and you want to quote a paragraph from it, you know now you're dealt with the, the attribution and all this other shit that's related to it. But if you wanted to make a meme of it and put it on an image macro, they, yeah, I think they could sue you and they could say that that's copyrighted work, that that belongs to the author or it belongs to the parent company. So it's going to fuck people in a monumental way. It's going to suck your ability to parse through information and then to repeat that information to other people in different ways. It's going to limit how you share your thoughts with other people. It's about controlling how you think. I mean, that is the end goal of something like this. They don't tell you that. They come up with colorful ways of, you know, hiding that. But at the end of the day, this is a way to control how you communicate and what you think about by limiting your means of communication and expression. And it's it's that basic. Uh, Cornhorn280, all the real men came to the U.S. or Australia. Only cucks stayed. Patrick Gammon, three months. They won't be able to uh, they won't be able to watch you. Lol, good show, Matt. Planet Trendy, please take my bong coins before my internet gets vanned. I didn't vote for this. Why didn't you save us Sargon? I don't know why Sargon has not come to save us all. I I pray, you know, chat, let's get on our fucking knees right now. Press P to pray. Let us, you know, let us pray to Sargon of Applebee's that him and his suit will save Europa and save Western civilization. Amen. And the skeptic's name, Amen. <laughs> Uh, Deplorology, crowd is all the proof that Euros can't uh, take shit. Tyler Knox, can't wait to get, uh, or can't wait for this to be Trump's fault. I'm sure that is going to get dumped on him eventually. I'm sure, I'm sure they will find a way to lay it at his feet. Eddie Jagsauce Gluskin, you're acting like America isn't firmly under Jewish control, just like Europe is. Pretty hypocritical of you burgers overall. Ah, here we go. Here's the here's the lovely story. Um, well, yeah, you you could say that uh, different. Uh, you could say well, if you want to say Jewish control, sure. Um, America is under Jewish control, uh, and Europe is under Jewish control. But who can shit post on the internet right now, champ? See, that's what I'm saying. I mean, if everybody's basically on their knees sucking dick, uh, <laughs> you know, you'd think we'd all on an even playing field, and yet here I am talking shit about Europe. Well, Europe really can't do the same. We may be sucking dick. They're deep-throating it. You know what I mean? Like, we're just tickling the balls and playing with the tip a little bit. But Europe is over there with, like, just balls deep, right? Just nuts bouncing off their chin. They got, Europe, you know, uh, they've got, uh, uh, the Jews have a handful of their hair, and they're just going all out. They're just face-fucking the shit out of Europe. And Europe's just applauding. They fucking love it. Yes. <laughs> Fatty Caddy, I ducking love you, dude. Your content gives me a brief resp- uh, respite, or respite. Jesus, 
from my clinical depression. If you ever want to be on my stream, you have a free pass. Thank you very much. Cami4242 uh, is a fellow Minnesotan. Minnesotan. Are we screwed if Tim Waltz wins the election? He wants to turn us into a sanctuary state, more like land of 10,000 immigrants. Well, that's already what Minnesota is. I mean, you had the governor basically go give a speech up north telling people if they didn't like uh, Somali immigration into the state, they needed to get the fuck out. And that's when people weren't even really bitching about the concept of immigration. They were more fucked up over the fact that they were letting in large amounts of people that weren't being screened for public health issues. And it was bringing in a variant of TB that was uh, one of the bad ones, one of the really hard ones to treat. So you have all these people coming in. They're not uh, dealing with these medical issues. Communities are fucked up and concerned about it because they don't want little Timmy or little Susie getting sick at school. And the governor basically said, fuck you, go to Wisconsin. So uh, Minnesota's already fucked. Kodiak, uh, EU equals, I don't even know what the fuck that is. B-O-A-E-C-C-T-S? I'm just a, I'm just an idiot. I can't read that. Beck's fire. The way things are headed in the U.S. Thanks to Marxist brainwashing and media and schools, corrupt politicians and corporations, and the worst generation in U.S. history, poised to take over. Do you think our lulls will be short-lived? Well, if they last for a day or if they last for a year, they still last for longer than they do in Europe. So enjoy it. <laughs> enjoy the momentary uh, ability to laugh at Europeans. We should all be enjoying it. The BTK. I've been to Iraq. I'd rather go back than go to France. Why? Because I can actually tango down the towel heads in a war zone. Chris M. Lull, is Varg in this chat being salty? I think I saw him brainlet deflecting about Amerimuts. P.S. Love you, Varg. I, I would answer that if I could, but chat moves pretty fast and it's hard to keep track of. Uh, as you can see, I don't have moderators and I don't put it into slow mode. Half the fun of an internet chat is letting people say whatever the fuck they want to say at the speed they want to say it. You you know, everybody is so controlled online. You're told what you can say, where you can say it, and when it's acceptable. I think it's nice to be able to come to at least one fucking chat room on the internet. You know, one little corner of the internet. And just say whatever retarded shit you want to say. Without me being up your ass to... to monitor the chat and to get on you about it and to say no no you can't say that no no you need to slow down shit post to your heart's content S just shit it up as much as you want see if you can fritz out youtube by posting too much shit post in the chat uh but back to your question i i don't know if Farg was in there i'm sorry uh manny 17b lol the u.s needs to leave nato i'm sure russia will pay us to let them go deep and unwrapped in our sexy lady the K4 li uh, lives again. They may take my memes, but they will never take my lacy green ex shoe on head fart porn rule 34. I don't. Ugh. Well, brap away, my friend. Kimberlyan, Europe equals retard that sticks forks into outlets. <laughs> Angel Spartan 01, Canadians can still buy guns. Who's the leaf now? Do you hear that, Europe? The Canadians are shit talking you now. Oh, oh, that's got a sting. Oh, Trudeau. Oh, Trudeau's such a cuck. Oh, Trudeau's such a pussy. Look at the Canadians. Who's who's the bitch now, Europe? Den Giganinsky. Good job, Jim. Lindsay Ellis addressed her arrest. Oh, did she? I know she was trying to get that PBS show. Goyenberg Shekelstein. Yes, Goy, keep blaming the EU Parliament. Coffin Joe. Hey, Jim, hypothetical. Who is more fucked, current Europe or a country run by Kareen, Ross, and Wings of Redemption? USA, USA, USA. Current Europe, hands down. Uh, what, what are you going to get with uh, somebody like Kareen, Ross, and Wings of Redemption? Probably just really shitty live streams. Shadow of a Colossus 103. I'm proud to be an American, also waiting for my CS2 class. Will there be any shootings, vehicular homicides at the EU Parliament, or are they too soy? I don't know what Europeans' reaction is going to be. Uh, okay, there can't be any shootings because they can't own guns. There can't be any vehicular homicides because they can't drive trucks anywhere in London anymore or wherever the fuck they're going to be meeting. <laughs> so, no, I, it's not that they're too soy. It's just that they legally... You saw the clip, right? Do I have to play the clip? Let me play the clip again. <laughs> play this fucking clip again. So, just, I really want to drill home... Or drill home... Um... Where is it? Oh, God. Did I lose it? 
Uh, here we go. I just want to drill home the state of Europe. Just, just drink it in. It means that from Thursday, anyone caught selling, making or importing will face up to four years in prison. The move follows the death of a teenager in London last year. Alex Bushell has the story. From the hunter apocalypse to zombie slayer, the names are over the top and faintly ridiculous. But the blades are no less fatal. Last March, 18-year-old Stefan Appleton was killed with this weapon in a park in Islington. Until now, their sale, mostly over the internet and imported from the US, has been legal. Well, no more. We're banning the manufacture of them here, the importation of them, the retail of them, and the possession of them. So we're doing everything we possibly can to ensure that people can't buy them. So there you go. I hope that answers, I hope that answers your question. Nuke the ice caps. Raise your hand if you can celebrate New Year's without tons of rape and car fires. And have the ability to talk about all the rape and car fires. My hand's in the air. What about you, chat? How many Canadians, Australians... Uh, Asians out there raising your hand. South Americans, you too, yep. Oh, the Africans as well. Everybody's raising their hand, except for Europe. Huh, weird. How strange. How, how bizarre. White man, brown world. The men left Europe to create the U.S. All that remained are bottoms. Hustuds. Submission to authority is endemic to uh, much of European culture. It has been for thousands of years. <laughs> this is really becoming a show where I just read people taking shots at Europe, which I'm fine facilitating. This should be a day where we all come together to celebrate and just laugh at them. Don't take any more shit from them. When a European opens their mouth and writes a fucking eight paragraph response to your shit post, just point and laugh. That's the response they deserve. Panera's art. Uh, when people have junk food, Facebook, and influence, you can pass any bullshit law. Very true. Iron Wolf Spear. I'm not white or a Nazi. Maybe Hitler was trying to do them a favor, lol. I'm so happy to be an American also. Should we just take over Europe, more states? I don't want it. I don't want, you know, I don't want them immigrating over here. Look at how they ran their own shit. Do you want weak-willed people like that that are going to let themselves get fucked up in the ass becoming a voting majority over here? Could you imagine the dumb shit that would happen? <laughs> I enjoy being able to use a fucking steak knife rather than a spork at dinner. I want to be able to drive my car in the city without having to get a police permission slip before I do it. I like to be able to jack off to porn on the internet without having to run to the newsstand to pay the tax. So no, they can stay over there. The lone marauder, would the future caliphate be preferable to this cuckoldry? Ah, uh, you know, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Andrew Bins, my fiancé is from Paris, can confirm the men there are spineless and would rather drink espresso and Capri and Crocs than stand up for themselves or their country. Recovery Anonymous, call Louis LeVay a faggot, please. There you go. John Wa Alchemir, next European war, EU versus anti, or Calivate versus not. I, I don't think they're going to start a war over the EU. Uh, I don't know. I, what weapons are they going to fight the Caliphate with? Are they going to attack them with butter knives? A whole line of British infantry armed to the teeth with butter knives and sporks? It's a terrifying thought. Arcian, did you hear about the Generation Identity Scandal? Uh, no, I haven't. Chat, if somebody in chat wants to inform me, what is the Generation Identity Scandal that uh, Arcian is talking about? Energies X, do you believe in a 9-11 conspiracy theories? Oh, do I believe in any of them? Uh, well, I think it's pretty much established. Jet fuel can't melt steel beams. <laughs> Wasn't, uh, was it Building 13? I, I don't know. I haven't really looked into it. But I do know there was some... Uh, interesting coincidental timings with uh, insurance and building ownership right before the attacks. So maybe that would be interesting to look at. But do you, you're asking me who I think did it? Saudi Arabia. OC Sheep, encrypted memes incoming. Europe sucks. This is Petro. Oh my gosh, this is so sad. Redacted. Play redacted. Uh, it's pretty much dead on. Waxian, they've been under monarchy for thousands of years. It's in their blood to bend over and take it. Original Naxter, Sargon the Savior has failed me. Be right back. Or be right back. Gotta go burn my suits in disappointment. Technician 9, Clan 123, Europe is lost. The self hatred programming worked. Definitely, Lex, stop being so nice to these Brit fags. Well, I, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm just being honest with them. Oh, now, see, people are disagreeing with me. They're going with Israel. Again, potato, potato, tomato, tomato. <laughs> Uh, 
Burninator, or Burninator 1130, Europor, or Europores are now limited to clip art memes. Not even that. They can't even fucking use clip art memes. Switch 1E. Their face when South America is better than Europe now. That's right. I don't think they really understand that yet. But Brazil and Argentina, just everybody down there, everybody, Bolivia, everybody's better than Europe now. You have more freedom than Europe. <laughs> Fucking Venezuela, where they have to eat rats because they don't have any food on the shelves, has more freedom when it comes to shit posting on the internet than Europeans will. Hordebert Crawford. Jim, all bands aside, what do you think will happen with the Chemnitz, Sweden, and Art 113 all considered? What should we do? What should Euros do? 1488. I think you guys are fucked. That, that's my honest assessment. I have no advice for you. I think you need to figure it out. I, but my, I, you know what? I scratch that. My advice to you would be you need to figure it out really fucking quick. Because if this is the shit they're already laying on top of you, uh, just in Europe in general and all the different countries that are participating in this shit and that have the EU over them, if this is the stuff you're looking at right now as it stands, imagine how much worse the next thing is going to be. Like, this is the opening act, right? Like, this is the small stuff. I said it was incremental, little by little, until you see the big picture and you think it's insurmountable. You're, you're going to see the big picture pretty soon here if you don't start doing something. Twos, don't you know the liberalists will save Europe, Jim? Sargon will have in the bag within the next 20 years. Right, Sargon? Sargon. Sargon. Trej Samuelson. Well, I live in no or <laughs> I live in Norway. Fuck the EU. Sloop Litzman, you can't or you can file copyrights under pseudonyms. It's five dollars or fifty-five dollars to do so. Do it, Jim. You get loads of super chat money. Play Amada Paradise too. I don't know. Would I be cruel enough to take super chat money then to copyright all the European memes and make the fuckers pay me money to bitch about it in chat? I think I might be. I think I might be mu uh, that much of an asshole. Not cool. Euros were too busy getting nailed by their wife's boyfriends to stand up for themselves. Kips love skip. This message and the previous message have been redacted as the user failed to display their meme license. You know, actually, let's take a quick break from Super Chats. Let me see if I can pull this up. I want to show you, well, two things. I want to show you the video I had previously done, and I want to show you the reaction it got from just ass-blasted Europeans. So let me just, let me pull this up. See if I can find it. Hopefully this will play just right. Uh, it's going to take a minute to load. Everything's going to be super fucking slow. Okay, I think that should show up. Get the like, comments to load. Just to give you an idea of the fucking reaction I got the last time. The last time that I, I poked them a little bit. Uh, where is it? Uh, this should do it, I think. Is that pulling it up? Yep. All right. Uh, pull this up so it's up full thing. Yeah, there we go. Okay. This is uh, the, a video I originally put up. Only four minutes. Only four minutes are... You got 2,000 of them pissed off. 2,006 Europeans got mad enough about this video. Just to get you know, put it into perspective on how well they handle a little bit of banter. I want to let that play. I'm going to grab a drink. And we'll come back and read some angry European comments. Because I think that would be fun. If the legislation is passed in its current form, it would have a devastating effect. Article 13, for example, would require the creation of an automatic filter for all online content uploaded in the EU, checking it against a database of copyright licenses. The system would be costly to create, impossible to keep up to date, and easily gained by copyright trolls. And as experts including Tim Berners-Lee and Jimmy Wales have warned, it would turn the internet into a tool for the automated surveillance and control of its users. Well, it's a good thing Europeans aren't that fucking stupid. Oh no, wait a minute. EU takes the first steps in passing controversial copyright law that could censor the internet. The legislation passed an initial vote, but it will need parliamentary approval before becoming law. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. great. The absolute state of fucking Europeans. Can can you guys not fuck something up colossally on like a daily basis? Is that 
Is that possible for you? I see a lot of British people. A lot of British people saying, thank God we're, thank God we voted for Brexit. This won't apply to us. You need a license to jack off. Sit your ass down. The mayor of London wants to ban mopeds. You need to shut the fuck up. Oh, mm, Oh, Jeffries, it's so posh and proper. Oh, I'm having a tea gasm. Mm, salute the queen with me. I just, I want to say, on behalf of all Americans, get fucked. Get fucked, Europeans. Nicely done. Enjoy the YouTube-style content ID on everything you do on the internet. You enjoy that. You enjoy not being able to upload anything you feel like uploading. You enjoy no memeing. Oh, the days of memeing are done for Europeans. I can finally browse 4chan in peace. I can finally go on to poll and not have to hear some dirty European talk shit about my glorious homeland. That's right, America, land of liberty. And don't even try to tell me, oh, but the Americans and their freedom, oh, they've got guns. You can't even spell freedom. You probably spell it like color. Color, freedom. Okay, I got my drink. That was just my excuse to go get something to drink. But I didn't want dead air, so you can, you can deal with it. Uh, but yeah, if, if you want a good time, if you want to have some fun, just scroll down if you get a chance later on. If you want to uh, enjoy yourself, just go take a look at the comments. They don't even need to watch the fucking video. That's not even the important bit. It's the comment section that's the important bit. They can't stand it when you make fun of them drives them absolutely crazy. Ugh, they go nuts about it. Let me pull this back up. Yes, that's right, chat. They're having a teagasm. That's the, uh, that's the British way of having a teagasm. All right, I, I'm, I'm trying to keep up with these. Call this... Uh, audience interaction reading through these super chats I've turned into Andy Worski I've turned into Andy Worski I'm just all I do is read super chats I feel terrible but this was kind of a, a hastily put together stream I woke up I saw the news about article 11 and 13 and I thought holy shit I have to make fun of them because they get so mad when you do oh just down votes and unsubscribes and paragraphs I there are comments that were paragraphs long just paragraphs long talking shit all day long about that video. They did not like that one bit. Uh, Thuffman15, if Europe wants to eliminate racism, why don't they ban minorities? I mean, if they banned butter knives. <laughs> uh, no, no, that's the glorious way forward. Diversity is our strength. Uh, so says Imam Merkel. Gold818. Happy Laugh at Europe Day. Ah ha 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 ha. Happy Laugh at Europe Day to you too, my friend. Paul, uh, okay, from Paul. Jim, Lindsay Ellis blocked me on Twitter uh, a week after I started following your old account. Are you on some list? Uh, probably, probably. There are a lot of people that uh, they get very angry at me and they create a lot of lists. So I wouldn't be surprised. King Harkinian, accelerationism for the win. Leave the EU. Shinuku Toner, I'm happy Article 13 went through. We have a monopoly on original content while Europe burns trying to enforce this retardation. Europe will be a digital wasteland for many years. <laughs> well, you can't put the genie back in the bottle, can you? If this, if this law goes through, if 13 and 11 are passed, I, I don't know, how are they going to get around that? They're going to demand that websites accommodate them. And if websites put the funding into accommodating them, they're going to be less inclined to fight back against it themselves. So you're going to have corporations that basically invest in all this infrastructure and all this bullshit to accommodate these fucking stupid Europeans. And then if in five years after this shit passes, they're like, you know what, maybe this was a mistake. They can't undo it. There's too much invested into it as it is. Uh, Necroner, don't call it a grave. Call it choice Europe made. Well, it is the choice they made. The Shimada brothers, America is the nurse watching the dementia-ridden grandfather. You know, that's actually a pretty damn good way of putting it. Anomalous. See, we beat the Kaiser in 1918. We beat the Fuhrer in 1945. It's time to beat the Imam in 2018. USA is number one. Great stream, Jim. You know, I, that's the other thing I've noticed. Europeans hate it when you make fun of them, but you know what really pisses them off? What really gets under their fucking skin 
is if you are nationalistic at all about a country that isn't in Europe. If you have any pride in your nation and that nation is not European, it makes them really fucking angry. I think that's half the reason they don't like the Australians. Because the Aussies love being Aussies. Drives them right up a fucking wall. Gabriel Houdin, as a Brit, I'm sitting here almost hysterically laughing as my soul dies, screaming out, it's funny because it's true. Uh, well, good luck in the future. I'll see you on the Underground Railroad of memes. Um, I, I don't know where to tell you to head. Try going for Poland or Norway or uh, I, I don't know. Best of luck. Kriplovsky, uh, thank you. The scripter, hey Jim, even here in Switzerland, these EU boomers are trying to bully us into accepting their gun laws. Kill yourself, Euro cucks. Yeah, don't let them bully you. Tell them to uh, go fuck themselves. Tell Junker and all of them just to go take a flying fucking leap. Timothy Reaper, Britain and France are too busy fighting over scallops to worry about memes. <laughs> Michael Fiction, hey Jim, have you heard about the cuckening of Python? They removed all mentions of master slave words. Redis, a database, had the same shit happen earlier. This, I, or the IT is going to go into the shitter. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's been bitched about for, like, years, so they finally went through with it? I, I've been watching, um, just everything related to IT go down the crapper. Especially at a lot of the websites, the GitHub and all the others. It, it's just, yeah. Yeah, my, my condolences. You guys are getting fucked, though. Uh, where are we here? Labranil... Labranian rebel. Labranian rebel? Probably butchered that. Europe hasn't been this screwed since the incident with Zeus's bull for Sona. The Guardian. Jim, Eurofags are claiming they can uh, just get a VPN in order to circumvent the main tax and filter. I bet the EU votes to make VPNs illegal in a civil society. Oh, yeah, do you think they're going to let you have a way around this? Are Europeans that delusional? You know you're fucked, right? Like, if this shit gets solidified into law and it's put into place, you're not going to get a VPN. There's not going to be a VPN to protect you. You're done. It's over. You're fucked. They will make it illegal to use a VPN. They will find a way to fuck you out of doing something that's going to let you circumvent this. Look at how... Okay, Brit, seriously, for a minute, look at how they treat you with your television license, right? Your TV license. They, they send fucking cops to your house to check to make sure you have a license to watch TV. You don't think they're going to do the same shit with your internet? They're not going to want to... You're going to get a knock on your door. Let's say this goes through a year from then. You're going to get a knock on your door. And there's going to be Nigel, right? There's going to be Nigel, and he's going to be... Uh, he's going to say to you, Hey, I need to come in and look at your browser history. And if he sees you're using a VPN, you're going to go to jail. And if he sees that you were looking at pornography, you're going to need to show him your porn license. And if he sees that you shared a news story, he's going to need to collect a toll from you because you didn't pay your Article 11 link tax. Pan of pans, made to buy a new license for link, appeal ignored. William Berner, Mr. Medicare died two months ago of cancer AIDS. This man is Mr. Minotaur and is a damn fine imposter. Hashtag triggered derfof, uh, <laughs> triggered derfofags, I think is what we're going for there. Immigrant shit, Sargon could, uh, should actually be fine with red pill black's social autopsy. Since it's all publicly available information, it's not doxing. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I suppose. Red Pill Black, that was uh, Candace Owens, right? Uh, Matthew Smith, lyrics and text would be affected too, if I'm not mistaken, so possibly copy pastas could get copyrighted. Could you imagine the Navy SEAL copy pasta being fucking... Oh, you could copyright that? Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's going to be a disaster. Mr. Clean, when you realize conspiracy theorists are more the same than the EU and Europeans by a long shot. Well, it's the direction things are headed. I mean, I, I, I joke, but earlier somebody did say, well, you Americans are fucked by your corporations. Well, that is true to a degree. Uh, when you look at what happened to somebody like Andrew Anklin and the Daily Stormer, when you look at how they were denied service hosts when they were thrown off every social media platform, and all these tech companies told people, it's just this one guy. Uh, what he's doing is so egregious, we've all decided that it's just this one guy. Don't worry, it's not going to happen to anybody else. But now you fast forward a year, and what are we looking at? Uh, you've got Alex Jones has been thrown off of all his social media. He's got his um, service provider saying they want to pull down his website. His app has been taken off the Apple Store. 
You have Gab AI being threatened by Azure, saying they're going to pull hosting if they don't start taking down specific posts they don't like. Uh, their their app has been pulled off the Google Store. It, th this is how this works. Again, it's always incremental and it's always very slow, whether it's governmental or if it's a corporation or whatever entity is trying to do something like this. It's always slow and incremental because they don't want you to notice it. They take it away little by little. They move the goalpost little by little. Today, it's just Andrew Anglin. And then tomorrow, it's just Alex Jones. But, you know, you fast forward far enough, you go down a year or two years down the line, and you making a shit post on Twitter is now the worst thing in the world and you need to be, you need to be dealt with. And I think a large uh, component of this, both in Europe and in America, and just overall in general, is going to be a push for real ID, where it's going to be, you need to have a universal identification online where it's it's your full information your name your fucking phone number your address we need that on file for you to be able to make accounts on any other website it's going to stop with the verification through uh you know an email account and it'll be through this this provided universal id that's going to be the gold standard if you want a youtube account we need your universal id you want a facebook we need your universal id you want a twitter we need your universal id that's where i see it going that's the next ridiculous shit uh, just all over that people are going to be dealing with. Bot chat, have you seen the report about a girl being passed around between more than 100 Asian men? Look it up Daily Mail and see just how Asian those men names are. Should we do that? Can we do that? Do I have to pay a link tax if I do that? Uh, Daily Mail. What am I searching for? 100 Asian men? <laughs> you weren't kidding. Okay, that's actually in the fucking title. All right, we'll, we'll take a break. We'll read some of this. Let's see what's going on in the merry old land of England. Oh, God, here we go again. All right, chat. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take a little side trip. We're going to go read this article that somebody in Super Chat w mentioned. Let's see. Oh, my God. <laughs> they look very Asian. Okay. All right, hold on. All right. Let me get ready for this. Look <laughs> at these fucking pictures. Uh -huh. Young girl was passed around and had sex with 100 Asian, Asian men by the age of 16. Child sex abuse trials hears. The victim said she fell for her abuser when he made her feel special. Men would demand to meet the victim, who was 13 when she, the abuse started. Defendants face a total of 28 counts of sexual abuse of five girls in Rotherham. Now, I, you know, we're, I'm familiar with that, so are we going to see... <laughs> okay. A young girl was passed around and had sex with 100 men, uh, okay, between 1998 and 2001. <clears throat> Her account in a video interview. Okay, here, here are these Asian men. I Clearly, they're from Japan. Tanweer Ali, I believe he's Korean, and Mohammed Imran Ali Akhtar. I'm pretty sure I'm going to place that as Filipino. Both stand accused of <laughs> of indecently assaulting the girl between 98 and 2001. Do we have more names? Oh, here we go. Some more Asian men. Salal Ahmed Al Hakam on the left, uh, clearly Vietnamese, and Amjal Rafiq on the right. Uh, I'm going to say Chinese on that one. Face one count of false imprisonment and one count of indecent assault. These men are both on trial with six others, all accused of committing histor er, historic sex offenses in Rotherham. Yes, when I see this picture, the first thing I think is, that's very Asian. That is a very Asian man. Tanweer Ali, the most Korean man on earth. If you ever watch StarCraft, you know, like when they're doing their competitive leagues and shit, you probably saw him on one of the teams. I'm pretty sure... Tanweer Ali is on the Korean StarCraft team. Oh, oh, there's so many Asian men. What's going on with Asia? Nabil Kurshid, Nabil Kurshid on the, I'm butchering the names, on the left, and on the right, Ikyak? <laughs> How do you pronounce this one? Did his parents hate him? <laughs> What's going on here? Licklack? Licklack Yosef? Licklack, Ikyak. I... <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that one. We'll just go with Yosef. Salal Al Hakam, Nabil Kurshid, Iklak Yusuf, Amaj Raki. Oh, okay. Salil Al Hakim. Yep, clearly Vietnamese as well. 
45 counts of child sex abuse offenses. That's welcome to welcome to Europe. Welcome to Britain. Welcome to Britain. Those very Asian men. Thank you. Who recommended this? Bot Chad, thank you for that. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> okay, chat. Uh, to those of you that, let's say, use image boards, if you're on, let's say, poll later on and you hear any Europeans, especially British flag Europeans, talking shit about anything, just remember some of the Asian names you heard in that article and throw them back at them. AK-47, AK your face... It probably doesn't help that one of Europa's defenders is in the courtroom or in the courtroom has more holes filled on his body than an unfortunate recipient of Bukaki, Dankula. Hard to take uh hard to take a anon. Hard to take a an seriously like that? Well, I will say this. Again, uh Dankula, his suit was nice fitting. You know, like he was dressed properly. And it was tailored and hemmed properly, or it looked like it was. So I'm guessing that's from his court case, so that probably helped. Um, if you go watch the news conference they gave, he was very quick into the point. I mean, like, he understood. He got in there. This is what I'm here to say. Took me three or four minutes to say it. Floor's back to you. So, uh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shit on Dank too much. Now, the Applebee's waiter, on the other hand, it's a different story. Uh, f Fatty Caddy. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Medicare. Uh, can Mr. Annabully protect me from the bad Eurofags as a proud American? I'm scared the Eurofags might hurt my porn. They are coming for your porn. Uh, opinion still hurt. Pop out chat. Then window capture and OBS to show chat. Use those plugins through Steam Labs. Also, Fork Trudeau. I, I don't actually use Stream Labs. I know a lot of people do. Um, can you can you use Stream Labs but not do donations through it? Because they have like little features, right? Where it'll pop up text and shit. If I could use Streamlabs to have Super Chats just pop up on screen, I might do that. Or if I could have it, or if I could find a program that would randomly take uh, just uh, comments from regular chat and throw it up on screen, uh, that would be pretty good too. But like that, I'm just a fucking dumb old boomer. I don't know how to make any of that shit work. Gabriel Lopez, Hitler would be proud of uh, Mama Merkel and the EU project. They are finally taking over Europe. From Sinak8, I will watch this later, but what's a good way to get information? News, websites, YouTube channels. Uh, well, in the internet as it is today, the onus is on you as the individual. You need to be able to go out there and to find the information yourself. I mean, that, that really is a big component of it. If you want to find reliable sources, if you want decent entertainment, if you just, whatever it is that you want, you're going to have to do it. You can't trust anybody on the internet. And that doesn't matter what your fucking politics is. It doesn't matter anything. None of that matters. It's just don't assume anybody is selling you something uh, at face value. Just assume everybody's fucking with you. That that's my mindset. Assume everybody is fucking with you and, uh, you know, prepare accordingly. You, you got you to gotta be hands-on about it when you go look for the shit that you're interested in. Oh, what are we sitting on on this stream for dislikes? How many Europeans have stopped by? I see 300 dislikes. 300 Europeans have swung by, screamed into the wind, and have gone back to sucking on their soy bottles. Kenrick50, Jim, did you hear about the new access bill in Australia that will require tech to put, to put in backdoor access to everyone's info too early for them to gloat, I think? Um, well, I, was it, I, I'm going to fuck his name up, uh, something Applebaum has been talking about that shit for like five years, not just in Australia, but just tech companies in general have been putting in uh, backdoors in hardware and in software uh, to a ridiculous degree for different world governments and different nefarious purposes. And it's not like off the wall conspiracy shit. It's documented and talked about in different programs and you can look it up and He's done a couple speeches on it. I'll try to find that, and then I'll link it on Twitter later. Uh, he gave a couple speeches about it, like in 2012 and 2013, I think. They talk about some of the crazy shit they've got. Like some of the stuff they were doing to basically be able to spy on people and get access to what you're doing on your computer. And it's, it's crazy shit. SS, take my money, you pay pig. Colosian Lord of Virulence. Canada only survives at the sufferance of the great USA. Sammy Khan, yo, everyone in the chat, call Sargoy a stupid white, mm, and you cut it off there. 
I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know if they can complete that saying. What What was that other word? What What would the What would the last word of that saying be? David P, you enjoying the Netflix Witcher series? Getting black for the sake of diversity. Imagine if it was a fucking opposite day. Yes, I, I've heard what they're going to be doing. Uh, Netflix is a fucking trash fire of a uh, of a streaming site. A lot of them don't do very well. I don't hear a lot about Hulu. Hulu's kind of like off on its own, I guess. But uh, Netflix has been just shitting up a lot of stuff lately. And Amazon can't, for the life of it, come up with an original series that isn't pure dog shit. Um, it's very rare that they do. But yeah, Netflix will... Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on with... I don't know. It, it's it's so it's happened so much at this point. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Just you can't. I I fucking hate Netflix. I have been salty at them ever since they pulled Marco Polo down. Shit cat, watch the daily rap on YouTube for quality American content. Rap. Nick Dolan, we are only part of the EU, so we can take the money from the German taxpayers. Our own kind is kind of worthless. And that's in Huffs. I guess you were from the country of Hufflepuff. I don't know what currency that is. Um, well, yeah, but doesn't Germany control the EU economically? I mean, that's kind of like the carrot and the stick, right? Everybody, oh my God, the German economy and uh, German bankers and German finance. And then you're all kind of getting fucked by them, right? Because they're setting financial policies for the rest of everybody else. Isn't that why Merkel got so angry at Putin? Because Putin was basically... Uh, kind of smacking her around a little bit when it came to how much they were going to pay for oil and gas because he was like, well, you've got the money. You're fucking the rest of Europe over. You should be able to pay us a little extra, shouldn't you? Major Thorne, Jim, can you please stop roasting my country? My feelings are deeply hurt and it's against the law. My condolences, but it's not my law to deal with. Osire, 100 quote-unquote Asian men. Jonathan Vasquez, I want to know how you Eurofags will fit all these licenses in their wallets. Uh, actually, very easily, Jonathan. Uh, they're not going to have any money in their license or in their wallets from paying for the licenses in the first place. It's a brilliant system. Let's say you had 100 pounds in your fucking wallet. You're going to need that 100 pounds to buy the 10 licenses, and those 10 licenses will take up the space the 100 pounds did. They've, they've thought this through quite well. Mix 56 mix. European boulder tax and license incoming. Recovery Anonymous, Gab got their stuff fixed. They switched providers. Yeah, but the question you have to ask is how long until those providers get pressured? How long until the next thing that comes up fucks them over? These 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 tech companies are all kind of backroom dealing, glad handing entities. Um, You know, and for a while there I wanted to look into because one of the interesting things that came up with BitChute was that um, Stripe was basically pressured into cutting off financial ties with them. And I know Patreon has mentioned that MasterCard made some demands about who could and couldn't be on the platform. And it makes me wonder if there's a backroom financial component to this, that maybe it's not just pure SJW shit, but maybe a lot of these smaller companies that act as middlemen for service providers or financial providers are pressured by bigger companies to adhere to a certain ideology maybe, and uh, I don't know. If I was more serious on the internet, I'd probably look into that rather than diaper furs. But I'm just a lazy fucking 56% American enjoying my memeing. I'll let the Europeans look into it. They're going to have plenty of time to do research with no internet access. Pluto, even their independence movements are terrible from Catalonia to Ireland. Nothing but dirty commies. 242 years free. Sami Khan, type 1 if you think Sargon is a Muslim. Entity steal. You don't need a violent revolution to rid yourself of a corporation. You do. Uh, you do to overthrow a government. Angry Merlin. You're giving our police too much credit. They don't have the money to find and arrest everyone in the UK. See, you say that now, but when they get the funding through all the licenses you're going to be paying for, to post on the internet and to masturbate, they'll be able to hire even more policemen to come and arrest you. Iron Wolf Spear. I got in a fight with a soy boy in New York City with that. Uh, that fur coat did not help to hide. By the way, all I was doing it was in Fifth Avenue with a MAGA as a Latino Trump supporter. Well, there's nothing like a good old-fashioned street fight. Kloss and Lord Virulence, don't lie, Canada is on par with Europe? Not anymore, it's not. Again, Europe has taken the cake. 
I know. I like to shit on Canadians, too. I love making Trudeau jokes. I think everybody does. But is Europe in any place to talk shit about Canada now? I can. I can as a burger. As a 56 percenter. I can talk shit about Canada. America has that right. South America can talk shit about Canada. Africa can talk shit about Canada. But Europe can't. There's no place for you to talk shit about Canada anymore. Zachary Rome, USA, followed by Australia, followed by Canada, followed by Eurofags. They're at the bottom of the totem pole now. Oliver Flamet, the rare Pepe market will no longer be oversaturated with Euro, or Euro edits. This is good news. From Retard, hey Europe, get blacked. You reap what you sow. Kenshin891, so Jimbo, how long until Europe legalizes pedophilia to appease the Muslim hordes and the elites? Uh, well, you know, <laughs> if you had asked like 10 years ago, hey, how long until they start calling obviously Muslim men Asian in newspaper stories? People would have been like, that's never going to happen. But here we are. So who knows how long that's going to take? But probably not that long. Langerlord, the pedo web is going to get a lot more users. Matthew Smith, do 11 and 13 just apply to uploading? I.e., could Euros technically browse 4chan or any image website but not post on it? Now, that is actually a very interesting question. I, I don't know. I mean, if their computer is caching uh, the copyrighted material, would that technically count as is, is possessing it? Are they going to look at it like child porn? Are they going to be that strict on it? I don't know. Shoko Bushu, yes, but Italy and Poland and Russia make us look like bitches. Energies X, are you hyped for System Shock 3? Uh, I really like System Shock 2. I'm not sure how hyped I am for the third. Cloakstorm, so glad to be an American. I got gun walked by Little Wayne blasting in the house. Edit G, British here, yeah, we're fucked. Shoot me now. That must be really hard, huh? Wanting to shoot yourself, being British and wanting to shoot yourself, but having access to no guns to do it. You can't even die by cop over in Europe, can you? They'll just, they'll tickle you with a feather. Isn't that how that happens over there when you break the law? The the bobbies come and tickle you with feathers until you submit? <laughs> the absolute state of your country. James Russell, is this the effect, uh, if this affects us in the United States in any way, we will fuck up the EU beyond all repair, fuck Mama Merkel, and fuck the EU. X Reality, new Twitter account. I believe you're asking me if I have one? I can neither substantiate nor deny that. But I do know that there's somebody on YouTube called Mr. Anti-Bully, uh, that seems to seems to put out a lot of funny stuff. Maybe maybe go follow that. William Allen, I didn't know the story behind your name, you cheeky monkey. Uh, yeah, there there was a, uh, a, a the guy spazzed out and was trying to yeah he wanted to call it mediocre, but it came out medicar. Dope effect. Uh, what will this mean for the meme market? Probably a probably a shooting up of value. Uh, the meme market and coach coins are just, they're going through the roof right now. Akalos, do you ever listen to the Daily Showa? Is that illegal in Europe? Holy shit. I don't even think they can say Daily Showa in Europe, let alone listen to it. I, I couldn't imagine walking out onto the streets of Europe and even uttering Daily Showa. You'd probably be beaten to death by the authorities. Noise Attic 13 Hashtag open borders for Israel. Eddie Jagsaw Skluskin. Oi, mate. Or oi, license, mate. Video is about Brits, and you claim 2,000 Europeans got butthurt. Why would I.E. a Dane be butthurt over this? We're not like those um, er, Untermesh, and our internet is not censored. Uh, that is that is a fair point, I should say. Not all Europeans, but a fair majority of them. You get very, uh, very upset when you start poking at one. Uh, you poke at, and again, Article 13 and 11 affects more than just more than just the Brits, and they like to say Brexit, Brexit, but it's a soft Brexit looking like it. So you're probably going to get fucked with this anyway, aren't you? Andrew M. Womp Womp, Commissar Warder, press S to spit on Europe. Overseer USA, salt exports from Europe have increased 19, <laughs> 1984%. Commissar Warder, Europe was a mistake, bring back Rome. Although that's too too late for that. Energies X, are you mad at your Encyclopedia Dramatica page? Not at all. Den Ginkosicki, here's $2 for the copyright crusade. Thought Eliminator, when Europe decides to LARP 1984. 
Yeah, when they go full retard, they really go full retard, don't they? Theoretical Pepe. If men weren't autistic, no government would be needed. James Madison. It's one of his lesser known quotes, I believe. All right, let me have a let me have a smoke break here for a minute. I cannot believe that fucking article. 100 Asian men. Oh, how could they write that? How could, how could you read that and be like... I know in Sweden, when they would do that kind of stuff, they'd censor out the image. Uh, I can't remember. There's a term for it. It's like whitening or something like that, where they'd take a suspect, and then they'd pixelate it, and then they'd darken the pixels, so you didn't know what they were talking about. You know, they didn't know who they were. And then, because they didn't want to say, <laughs> these fucking immigrants are committing crime. But you look at the Daily Mail, and they, they, it's just they're Asian. And I love how they, I know uh, the justification for why they say that. But let's, let's, let's not act retarded. We know what we're looking at. They're acting like it's the Chinese doing it. It's the Japanese or the Koreans. No, nah, no, nah, I wouldn't say that's what I think of when I think of Asian. Uh, not a bong. I, I smoke cigarettes uh, like the smart individual that I am. Camels are the way to go, kids. I smoke a pipe? No, I don't smoke a pipe. Uh, that would be too time-consuming. And I'm sure shit not going to vape. I don't want some fucking lithium battery exploding in my fucking face. Uh, let me see if I can find... Because I, I want to put something on while I, I have a quick smoke break here. Let me see if I can find something quintessentially British that we can watch while I'm doing this. <laughs> In fact, if I... If I just search quintessentially British, will something pop up, I wonder? No, of course not. No, of course, why would it? You think somebody would have something up to shit on it, but no. All right. <laughs> well, no, that brings up that. Um, okay, whatever. Whatever, chat. We're losing a little bit of steam here. I'm losing viewers to the pig stream now. We're, we're at 13,100. We were at 13,500 earlier. The pig stream is stealing viewers because I'm having a cigarette break. It's my fucking fault. I should have come prepared to play with more shit. But I, I kind of just wanted to jump on shitting on Europeans for an hour or so. So let me... Where would we go here? I could have sworn I had a clip lined up, but I'm not seeing it. I'll put this back up for the moment. Uh, we've been going about an hour and a half. I will finish up the uh, remainder of the super chats, uh, but yeah, I think I think we'll we'll cut the we'll cut the stream here. I'll read off the rest of the super chats, banter back and forth for a while. Uh, if you're coming just to shit on Europeans, that portion's kind of it's kind of ended at this point. Uh, so I'll get to the rest of those. Uh, for those of you interested, uh, this Sunday I will be shitting on Monday Matt some more on David Sherratt, uh, who is an incel. He was an incel who was written about because he hated women, and he desperately wants to fuck Lauren Southern, and because Lauren Southern wouldn't touch his penis, he went to war on the internet with uh, a ton of people. So we're going to be covering that. So Monday, Matt, that maybe some more Bunty King cuck videos, uh, that seemed to be pretty popular the last time. And looking at a few more things, a few surprises uh, for this Sunday. So that, that, that'll be the... I'm going to... I, I think I'll call it... Uh, skeptically Sunday streams. <laughs> I'll be candid with you about this. We'll be doing skeptically Sunday streams probably every Sunday. See how that does for a while. Uh, but yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure to shit on your pins every chance you get. Archive and screen cap the salt that you get because they're going to be mad as fuck about this. Even if somehow they pull their ass out of the fire and they reverse it, they're still going to be pissy about it. Don't let them live it down. And if you're Canadian, do cartwheels over these motherfuckers. Think of all the times you got all that shit for two years 
This is a little bit of payback. Enjoy it. And of course, all you 56 percenters, enjoy it as well. Okay. Let me load up the rest of these here. I'm trying to I'm trying to respond to every one of them. If I missed a few, I, I apologize. The way that YouTube sets us up is all fucky. Uh, it's not easy. They could do it better, but they don't. Oh, you know what? Actually, let me do this. For the poor motherfuckers that just that walk in and they're like, what the fuck is this? I thought this was a stream. Why is, why is he reading Super Chats? Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, properties. There we go. Uh, pull this down. There we go. Now they know. Now they know. Now I'm just, I'm going to respond. I'm going to get through the rest of these. And we'll all have a nice day. And then I plan to go shit on Europeans. A whole fucking bunch today. I'm looking forward to it. It's like a fucking sporting event for me. Just collecting the salt. I'm going to put Morton out of business with this shit. A helpful hand job. Nice, uh, nice name, by the way. Leave Europe alone, Lex. Stacy Gravis. Saudis are the really are the real Jews. Massive damage gaming. I have a pagan friend who is a literal cuck. Was texting me while his wife was getting the Johnson. The bull didn't even let him watch. Just listen. That is fucking sad. Josh Perkins. I was going to buy some sea salt, but when I woke up this morning, there was a sudden rise in euro salt. Blagordal the Great. This may be my last super chat as I unfortunately live in Bongland. Can't believe Sargon with his ill-fitting suit and Dankula with his trashy piercings and ear stretchers didn't make a difference. Who would have thought? Mr. Drink the Kool-Aid, I love that Bongs can't speak against their little white girls being ripped, ripped flesh from bone by snaggletooth Muslims. I have no mouth and I must scream. Uh, well, again, I mean... It's that incremental march towards just complete subservience, isn't it? If you don't start dragging your feet and fighting back and pulling away, the next thing you know, you're on your knees sucking dick. Skarton, take money before Europe, take uh, take it in for taxing shit. Viper Mach 5, did you know that it is illegal to take a picture of the Eiffel Tower at night? All because of those slug slurping Frenchy copyrights. Is it? Is it really? That's pretty fucking sad, I'll be honest. Finchy Bird, ask yourselves, Euros, was Hitler really such a bad guy after all? Gami Gami, Europe equals 4chan, Tendi story, where the kid gets pegged by one of his parents for their good boy points. American 56% face is better than European soy face. USA. Brent Herman, Jim, don't forget the evacuation call to all Jewish firms in both towers. Uh, good point. Burger Lord, remember when Waco happened, then a year later a guy fucking bombed a federal building and killed 200 federal workers. Yeah, that's, uh... We had Waco, we had the FBI bombing in Oklahoma City, uh, Ruby Ridge, there's a lot of shit that happened in the 90s. Sims 2 MW, Eurobores are going to have to eat with their hands soon like Indians because they'll ban all the possible eating utensils from sale, laugh my ass off. Brenna Ramos, let's just in case Europe into a padded cell before they hurt themselves anymore. Andrew 50 have a sharp pencil, Will. Take over the UK with it. And Buki 8 W... Uh, I, okay, this is a fucking long name. And Buki 8 W N A B N D eight zero nine 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 nine, And it just says 10. <laughs> Jack Maverick, wait until they start banning spoons. Now how will Eurofags eat shit? <laughs> God bless America. Eddie Jagger sauce, Gluskin. When you say Europe, you mean England. No, I mean Europe. If it was exclusively England that was a complete clusterfuck, then we wouldn't see the same shit playing out in Sweden. We wouldn't see the same shit playing out in France. We wouldn't see the same shit playing out in Germany. Ratchak Flat. Euros and Leafs can technically own guns, but the difference is we can actually carry and use them for self defense. The thickest. Watch out, them Europeans are going to stab us with butter knives. Oh wait, they are also banned. Build a wall around Europe. 
That guy 219, their face when surrounded by Mexicans and 56 percenters, but can still post on 4chan. Feels good, man. The man named Kiwi. Todd Howard is on the stage at the Apple keynote. Is he is he selling them another copy of fucking Skyrim? That which lurks. This is why we were able to win our independence. Bongs have always been omnicucked. Athena, goddess of wisdom and warfare. Are you kidding me? They banned knives because some kid was killed by one? Welcome to Europe, or welcome to Britain, in that case. Zyklon. Sticks now banned in UK as they can't be sharpened. Ashley M. Just got out of class. Keep up the good shit. George Zackerson. Alfred the Great is rolling in his graves, or, or in his grave. Oy vey. The raging post cannon. Well, at least you don't need a license to get culturally, culturally enriched by refugees. Strangely enough, that is the one license you don't necessarily have to buy. You are correct on that. That one's just a, that's a give me. That one's free. Yeah, you get that one for free. Oogie Boogie, can we say, or can we get the forensic reconstruction of the rape rap video on screen? You know, to give the EU a glimpse into their future. I hope we'll see if I can find that. Larry G, they're banning butter knives? Uh, no, that might have that might have just been a, a play on their stupidity. But they are banning knives, yes. Certain types of knives, of certain lengths, and certain designs. Yes, they are banning knives. Bagel Goose, ban all assault spoons. Jay, so stupid. They are annoying the... I don't know how to say that. That doesn't end well for wannabe empires. Naharin guy? I, I don't know. Are we speaking Viking? I don't know what that is. D. Jatomic. I'm Canadian and own two guns. Get cucked, EU. Your school shooter game is weak. FNA, happy first annual internet death day celebrated in the EU. Longtime fan, Meadowcast, could you wish a happy birthday to my precious bird, Kotari Minami? Uh, happy birthday, Kotari Minami. Gresh, if Orwell could see this country now, he'd crawl back into his grave sobbing. No Sean, H-bomber guy, etc. With this, no more laughing, all Euro soy boys. Barrett Privateer. Canada needs the Electoral College. West has no vote. Nick Wolf. Europe now being spit roasted between Putin and immigrants. But yeah, memes are the issue. Well, how, how are they going to talk about being spit roasted between Putin and immigrants if they can't even talk online without being monitored and fined and needing a license? I mean, that's, again, it's, it's fucking with their ability. I know we frame it in the terms of memes, but it's fucking with their ability to communicate with one another that's really taking place right now. You saw the BBC article talking about, um, you know, taking down extremist content, and they want it down within an hour. And then you, you hear about Article 11 and 13, about what you can link, when you can link it, if it's copyrighted, when it gets pulled, whose responsibility it is. These are all just stumbling blocks and roadblocks. They're taking off what they see as egregious speech or opinions they don't like. You've got articles coming out of Germany about illegal opinions. People being arrested for fucking, quote-unquote, illegal opinions. It's just a shit show. But they, they want to stifle your ability to talk and to say what you want to say. And uh, that, that is a large component of it. Uh, Charlie, or Charlie Willis, thank you. Fuck off. I'm actually medically diagnosed, high-functioning, autistic, Canada or Canadian, and even I'm questioning what the fuck Europe was thinking. Eddie Jake Sauce Gluskin, it was said you would bring glory to Europe, not destroy it. You were my brother, Germany. I have failed you. I can see that now. Roverti, I have a uh, have a look at the Bernie convention. That makes the whole situation worse. I, I don't know what the oh Bernie convention. I saw that and I, I I immediately went to Bernie Sanders. I thought I thought we were going to go into the whole he can still win it, guys. Match my donation shit. That, that's burned into my brain. Anytime I see anything that remotely looks like the name Bernie, I immediately start thinking about somebody needs to match my donation. We need to do this. Carlos Pena, vote Jim Johnson to save Minnesota, <laughs> Minnesota Somalia. Mohammed Malporic, preach brother. Yankees, can you please bomb us back into the Stone Age next time you come here to resolve the upcoming world war? Just carpet bomb everything to oblivion and repopulate the old continent. Oh, how mad would that make Europeans? How mad would it make you if we decided just to come in there and just take it from you? Would, think of all your sacred landmarks filled to the brim with 56 percenters. Imagine a bunch of fat Americans on their fucking rascal scooters 
charging up next to the next to the most sacred site that you have. All our little all our little half Mexican babies just running around your countrysides. We'll turn your castles into Walmarts. We'll turn your sacred battlegrounds into McDonald's parking lots. We'll just take it for ourselves. And you won't be able to tell us no because it's banned on the internet. You can't say anything. Uh, this is Petro. Oh my gosh, this is so sad. Redacted, play redacted. Okay, I think we finally caught up. Hopefully I have not missed anybody. Uh, there are a few more new ones. I'll, I'll hit those and then I think we're close to caught up. If this will load, if it's going to be slow on me here. Ah, there we go. Jamal al Saraf, I'm donating because I am paying less tax and I can say whatever the fuck I want. Then I'm going to go shoot one of my five rifles. Uh, enjoy the shit out of that. Feels nice, doesn't it? Being able to do whatever the fuck you want to do. Not having to get permission to do it first. Bell the Ball, big fan, love your channel, thank you. John Titer, uh, Teeter, EU scared Brexit and Trump memes beating propaganda. Oh, well, yeah, I, I do believe that there is a... I think a lot of what we're seeing kind of post-2016 was... I, I think certain individuals, uh, corporations, and governments probably looked at the election of Trump, specifically of Trump, um, and got freaked out and thinking that because they were too passive, they allowed it to happen. And we're seeing that, that kind of crackdown right now on sites like Twitter and other places uh, where they just they want to get rid of... They want to get rid of anything they see as a, a hindrance before those those next election cycles start up. James Russell, shout out to Nick Gers. Hey, Nicky. Edward Bernaz, if you thought the migrant rape uh, okay, if you thought the migrant rape crime stats were underreported before, just wait until I have full control over Article Thirteen. Oh yeah, you're fucked. Uh, if you, you know, just like the New Year's event, uh, where it took them four days uh, after that happened. Uh, to even talk about it, talk about it even a little bit. Oh yeah, no, it's it, you're done. You're never gonna hear real crime stats. You're never gonna hear about actual events. They not only are you not gonna be able to talk about things like that happening, they're gonna make you pay a link tax to talk about their propagandized version of it. So you'll have to pay them for the privilege of lying to you. Just let your mind wrap around that mind fuck. Old angry normie. Silverware might be outlawed, but at least they'll get to keep their chopsticks. You know, because of all those Asians. Yeah, you know, quite a lot of chopsticks in Britain. Matthew Smith, it was mostly France and Latvia that voted for it. Uh, Resevich Hunter, uh, thank you. Pinky Culture, can you get Jade to post her pinky finger? Nope. Danny the Sage, uh, 420, thank you. The raging post cannon don't need a license to get culturally enriched by Asians in glorious Europa. Summer S, any country that won't accept the bluish world banks and or won't surrender the invasions will or being destroyed fight back my man um i i don't know what they're doing like i said you'd think there'd come a point where people would just outright have enough and i i mean i have seen some pushback in some of these countries but they seem so complacent with it it's really bizarre i, I don't <clears throat> i i just don't know I, maybe they have to learn the hard way yo jimzo uh my voice is going to shit. Have some shekels from an unemployed Amerimut. Thank you very much. Gustav Viking, the European Parliament, bent their citizens over and went elbows deep, working them like a sock puppet. Sweetie squad. Yeah, they did get a good, solid fisting. Ozma 2112 what happened to your last Sunday stream vid, Nibba? Uh, that's over on Brightside Bob. That's where all the streams get put. The only the only two exceptions to that were the Neogaf one, which was funny as shit to watch that implode, and the Who Done It stream. Uh, where I list out the suspects between uh, different groups of people that would have spazzed out. Felix Wolf, hey Jim, I'm a Canuck living in Washington State, currently laughing at the Eurocucks. I hate Trudeau and always will. Fly the red ensign over er, ensign over the leaf flag. That guy, 219, Camel is literally beaner tier. Real men only smoke Marlboro. Well, yeah, if you're a gay cowboy, you probably love Marlboro. Soul Blazer, what cigarettes do you smoke, Jim? Uh, filter 99s. Long neck McGee, what's your brand of cigarette, Jim? Again, Camel Filter 99s. You still like Camel Reds, but you can't really find them uh, that easily. Andrew Bin, the idea of the EU was stolen from the Richard Grieco movie, If Looks Could Kill. Kill me now. To think that the UK police is more cucked than Swedish police, let that sink in. They're getting there, aren't they? 
I mean, they're, they're starting to reach that level. Rando number nine, unrelated, but apparently we're getting Skyrim on the iPhone. Thanks to, really? He's actually doing that? God, just shove it on any fucking device he can, won't he? Nick Pillars, maybe Dark Red Bandit can save Europe. Maybe, yeah, well, maybe Bandito could. We'll have to hope his 16 terabytes of hacking skill can come to play on our side on this one. Niggy, even in my home country of Peru, we have more freedom. F for Europe, you nigger faggots. Yeah, everybody's got more freedom right now than Europe. Summer SE voted to impose sanctions on Hungary for anti-Islamic policy of protecting their country's citizens from cultural enrichment. NWO. Hashtag, stay strong Hungary. Yeah, don't take their shit, Hungary. Fuck these people. Uh, thank you, Ogurt. Or, Ogurk. Radshack Flat, Euro visited me. Didn't bring his own gun. Very rude. Ham- <laughs> Hamburg Larster. EU experiencing one of many low T gasms. Also, gas the bikes race now, or race car now. I uh, deleted message, so I can't see what that one was. Jonas Traber, are you going to play Shadow of the Tomb Raider on Friday? Fuck no, I'm not. Rye P. Tix, uh, thanks, there's no message on that one. Theoretical Pepe, thanks for the stream, Jim. You missed my last chat. I, I, again, I am trying my best to keep up with them. The only problem is, is if you refresh, it puts it back at the top, so you've got to try to scroll back down to where the last one was, and it's it's a pain in the ass. If there's a way to, and there has to be a program that, I, I don't know, I'll find a better way to, to streamline this, so I'm not missing people's. Gamer Nation voice, everything else aside, I know we in the U.S. are safe, but don't you at least respect that Zargon tried to fight back against it in his unsafe country? I've already given my opinion on, uh, on Sargon. You know, I guess one of my criticisms for him might be this, and I, I think it kind of comes down, you know, let me put this back on screen. To give you an idea of where I'm coming from with this. When I hear Sargon talk about wanting to do something, right, I'm not hearing somebody doing it for a cause. I'm hearing somebody doing it for themselves. When you look at these kind of messages, is this somebody proud of the fact that he's standing up for freedom? Is this somebody proud of the fact that he's fighting against what he sees as some sort of oppression? Or is this somebody stroking his own ego? and getting high off his own farts. I'm doing this. Look at me. Look at me. See how important I am. He uses these things, at least it appears to me, as a form of like ego enforcement, rather than because he believes it's a just thing. It's it's serving more Sargon than it is others. Uh, that's how the liberalist thing felt too. It's very weird. But uh, to, to back to your question, uh, do I... Do I begrudge him trying to do something? No. Uh, you know, Dankula did shit. You don't hear me talking shit about Dankula, do you? Colossan Lord of Irulan, the last time in the UK did something right was lose the American War of Independence. Also, there's always a reason to ridicule Canada. Recovery Anonymous, this is the second or third time Gab has been pressured. I think they've raised $5 million to just build their own infrastructure. Well, they're going to probably have to try to do something. Trues just set up my brand new cordless circular saw. I'm ready to butter my bread now. Suck it, Brits. Kenshin891. Hey, Jimbo, how long until Europe legalized pedophilia to appease the Asians and the elites? And I think that that, that is the last one. Because I, I remember reading that one particularly. Let's see if I missed a few more here, and then uh, we will we will end the stream. Thank you to the... Holy shit, 10,000 people still. All right. To, to listen to me read Super Chats. I guess you don't want to go, maybe, yeah, okay, maybe nobody wanted to go listen to Todd Howard shill another fucking version of Skyrim on the iPhone. And the pig stream is over. So, what, yeah, I guess you got nothing else to really watch at the moment. Uh, from Ray Gillette, yell at me to let you finish. John Hind, oh, you got a license for that live stream, mate. Luckily, right now, I don't need one. Bandit 848, you see Eric Trump is getting roasted for shekels. Uh, no, but I'll go check that out. Andrew Panarella, Press F to pay respects to Europe for dying of ligma. Pompous Magnus, can't wait to go into chats with Euros and preach about the greatest country on earth. The silence since disagreeing with me requires a license. Oh yeah, talk all the shit you want. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun couple of weeks. Thomas Janko, Americans need to do... Uh, Americans need to do shit, I guess, and take back your country. Otherwise, you'll end up even worse. 
take it into real life this net neutral or this the net neutralizes you coffee jack if europe crumbles there's a list of people worthy of the noose podium Noir64, you didn't read my item filler before. How dare you? Exalted orb, an exhilarating sensation of victory, if only for a brief moment. The mirror of Kelandra, ultimate, immeasurable, indescribable. Matthew Smith, it was mostly France that voted for it, lol. Matt Nero, I bet it only affects whites in Europe. You know, they aren't going to go door-to-door in forbidden zones. That would be racist. Shout out to hard bastard. David Uzor, save Europa with a swift do or save Europa with a sw- a swift Deus Vault. Side note: Kraut came back and has a Discord. I am aware that Kraut is back. Gojira, you didn't read my three other super chats, you Jew. I'm fairly certain I've read yours before. But Oife, stop being so anti-Semitic. Jet Set Tomato, you didn't read either of my super chats, you queer. Love you anyway. Angry Merlin, friendly reminder that Europe is slowly becoming fascist again. Jamal Al-Sarif, I'm donating because I am paying... Okay, see, now I know I read that one. And that he's going to go shoot his five rifles. That, I I can distinctly remember reading that. I think we are are caught up. Uh, We've got Yeet on the Europores from Fuhrer Teneticus. Chad Fitzgerald, hey, you missed mine. I'm pretty sure it was one of the first, please... Ave, true to Caesar. Why, YouTube, why? You shat here with me live. Rage at yell at me. Okay, that one I have read. The Dead Air Hour. Sargon of Benegans killed Europe with his shit suit. And Viking Poodle Sargon looked disgusting, nipples protruding in his poorly tailored suit before EU. Very, very disrespectful. And then finally, to take it out, TCAT. Oh, oh, Jim Jam, this is what happens when you let those liberal cuckaducks implement laws. Remember if they're pump... <laughs> Remember if they're red, pump them with lead. I guess that's the note we'll end this on. Uh, again, if I missed your chat, I'm sorry. I, I tried to get them all. I will uh, do better next time and put a little system into place to streamline this shit. Uh, thanks for coming out. Again, enjoy yourself for the next week shitting on Europeans. Screen cap it. Archive it. Enjoy the salt. They're going to be mad as fuck, and you just just drink it in. Don't let them. Don't don't let them even fuck their response. Their eight paragraph response. Just dunk on their ass. They they have it coming.